Okay, Dot's driving us back to the uh, takeout. We're using a trawler motoring, trawler trolling motor because I killed the main motor. Uh, I hit something that screwed up the transmission evidently. It's locked up. I can't get it going to neutral and one time he did get the run and it was clanking and oh I sounded like oh god. This is going to cost me quite a few hundred dollars to get fixed. But that's life. I've gotten over to mad. Pretty much. And believe me, I was mad, angry, cussing, bitter, mad. <laughs> but I'm, I'm over it. That's life. You got to pay to have fun. And that was our fun. So, end result is we uh, made it seven miles upstream in the St. Mary's River. And we've been going back downstream now to our takeout, another seven miles, using the trolling motor and me paddling now and then at the front of the boat. Uh, I think we're going to make it with just a trolling motor now. We have an over, over an hour to go. What's our speed? What's our speed? Uh, 2.9. That's good. So we're doing about 2.9 at 3 miles an hour. We got 11.4 miles. We got 11.4 miles, so it's like uh, three and a half miles back to the takeout, which is another good hour using a trolling motor. If necessary, I'll just paddle the rest of the way and uh, I am whooped. I, mean, I got the point. I just I took my shirt, my T-shirt off a half hour ago, 15 minutes ago. And I dunked it in the river and put it back on, and boy, that was a wake me up. So I'm pretty well refreshed right now. But I told Doc she's driving home. I'm whooped. I am seriously whooped. And she's tired. So we'll see how that goes. Because I've had her in the back of the boat, and any time we get to a shallow spot where I can get out and walk the boat, I'll walk it for a couple of 300 feet. And, but Dot has to haul the trolling motor out of the water, and that thing's like a f <laughs> an easy 30, 40 pounds, so she's getting tired. But we're going to make it. The price you pay to have fun. And regardless of what it costs to get the boat fixed or the motor fixed, I'll do it just so we can do this again. I know when I get to that same corner next time, I will slow down drastically. Drastically. Evidently, I hit something, and usually, when you hit something, the, uh, you know, what do you call it, the gear housing will hit it first and it'll bump the motor up out of the water so you don't damage the prop or anything else. Yeah, evidently, <coughs> this time, the uh, hot motor housing missed with the obstacle and the prop hit it directly and the transmission just seized up. <coughs> Frog. So, that's where we are. That's life. Later.